If you're listening to this, you obviously like podcasts, and you probably like music too. On Spotify, you can listen to all that in one place for free, and you don't need a premium account. Spotify has a huge catalog of podcasts on every topic, including the one you're listening to right now. On Spotify, you can follow your favorite podcast so you never miss an episode. Download episodes to listen offline, wherever you are. Easily share what you're listening to with your friends via Spotify's integrations with social platforms like Instagram. Just search for the e-commerce minute on the Spotify app or browse podcasts in your library tab. And follow us so you never miss an episode of the e-commerce minute. Spotify is the world's leading music streaming service, and now it's your go-to for podcasts. It's the e-commerce minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The e-commerce minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. This episode of the e-commerce minute is brought to you by Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. With Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes, it's just click, send, and save for as low as $4.99 a month. Send envelopes, flats, and packages right from your desk, and you're back in business in no time. And for being a loyal e-commerce minute listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and a free 10-pound scale to ensure that you'll never overpay. Save time and money on mailing and shipping with Send Pro Online. Starting at $4.99 a month, you can qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping. Calculate exact postage online and print labels right from your PC. So go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. It's e-commerce minute episode 505. In today's episode, Walmart shakes up jet.com. Walmart acquired Jet in 2016 for $3.3 billion, and soon after, they began merging a few of the key teams like supply chain fulfillment centers. Walmart is now fully integrating Jet's teams into its own e-commerce operations. Earlier this month, Walmart announced its decision to fold Jet.com's teams, including analytics, marketing, product, retail, and technology, to name a few, into its corporate web organization. The original merger was expected to boost Walmart's reach specifically with urban millennial shoppers, but it failed to become a driver for online grocery sales and growing market share in those niche city areas. So to meet this goal, Jet relaunched their site to target millennial shoppers in areas like New York with a product assortment tailored to their shopping preferences and three-hour grocery delivery to compete with Amazon Prime Now. However, the numbers still weren't there, for Jet that is. Walmart's e-commerce sales as a whole actually grew 40% in 2018. TechCrunch reported that Jet President Simon Belsham will be involved in the transition through early August. He will then be stepping down and Jet will be managed by Kiernan Shanahan, Walmart's Senior Vice President of Food, Consumables, and Health and Wellness. But before you get the sad violins going, don't worry, Jet.com will still be up and running. It's also important to understand that Jet and Walmart have been working closely since the merger to ensure the best for both brands. Jet's technology and team contributed greatly to Walmart's newfound e-commerce success and CEO Mark Laurie couldn't be happier how it's turned out. So we'll see if this full integration works in favor of both the brands. But keeping in mind that Jet played an integral role in Walmart's delivery innovations, the prospect of continuous intense competition with Amazon should fare well for both of them. How about that? Mm, Yeah, that was bound to happen. Yeah, we kind of saw the writing on the wall there a couple months ago. Uh, Their numbers weren't good. Um, They obviously weren't going to shed Jet.com. No, Uh, because it's a good name and good domain but their their tech kind of sucked amazingly uh so what's your what's your comment on it the tech wasn't good yeah so 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 you know they bought jet.com for obvious reasons for i mean it's the same bought it for mark glory yeah they bought it for mark glory just because he did diapers.com and and sold it to amazon but amazon just kind of absorbed it into their world whereas i think walmart was thinking hey let's use their site but walmart's site is so much better um because they also have like the technology branch of Walmart is crazy good and they invest a lot of money on it. Yeah. And, and then about, just to, the idea that it's just like, yeah, I mean, the idea that you're going to go, oh, we're going to buy this startup and we're going to use their tech. And you're like, oh, this is no good. So you have to think about, you know, we've been doing this podcast over two years now. And we used to do the stories about all the acquisitions that Walmart was doing. And Walmart three years ago was not the Walmart that we have now. Walmart, especially in e-commerce, has leaps and bounds grown and surpassed all the other competitors except, of course, Amazon. And this is kind of telling in that they they had such promise with Jet.com. But I always wondered how that they were going to run them as separate entities. And obviously, they still are. But I think you're going to see Jet have a more and more diminished role in the Walmart e-commerce ecosystem. 
Brittany, how do you feel about this? Well, <laughs> what I do know is that um, JetBlue is suing Jet, so that should be even more interesting for like Jet as a company and what they're going to be doing. So you're saying there's too many Jets? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Jet. Oh, okay, jet so jet. let's Jones let's jet. sort let's sort out the jets. So we have Jet.com, we have JetBlue, and then we have uh, Walmart's new service, Jet Black. Now, Jet Black is a whole other animal. We've done a few stories on Jet Black. Uh, jet Black is basically what did we call that? The, the oh, Bart, help me out here. We had a funny name for it. It was like. like <laughs> Something for, yeah, for rich New Yorkers or something. I don't, I don't remember. It was like a delivery, right? Delivery it's service. Yeah. So delivery service. You pay fifty dollars a month, but it's basically like a concierge for people in New York, and they've targeted. They actually targeted. They were very, very niche specific. They targeted wealthy moms in New York, and it turns out <laughs> it was a home run because Jet Black customers spend an average of fifteen hundred dollars a month on purchases on top of the fifty dollar monthly P. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> John, that, is, that is not the service sir. they that's, owe their monthly pizza that's a different month. service <laughs> <laughs> that is a Whoa. different service so the reason we're saying all this is now uh Brittany, help me out here jet blue is suing who for who for what i think i saw that they were suing like walmart or jet oh here we go it's in our notes jet blue airways sued walmart for trademark infringement over the retailer's jet black personal shopping program jet blue customer jet blue said customers would be confused when walmart adds different tiers to a service such as jet gold and jet silver for which the retailer filed <laughs> trademark applications as part of jet black's expansion strategy <sighs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right then. I mean, I could see JetBlue go like uh, JetBlue. Now we have Jet Black. It's right. our black well, card for yeah, exactly. right. Jet Gold, right? right. So I yeah. think <laughs> I think there was some executive who that went, whoa, 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 pump the brakes here. Like we, I had this idea first, and now Walmart's went and copyrighted. So I, I think it's all kind of silly. I don't see how people can confuse an air, airline with a chain store, but that's. That's I how, feel like um, you'd be yeah. surprised. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I try. I, t- <laughs> I don't know. Maybe <laughs> just me. All right, stat time. Cater research also shows the number of U.S. households that shop on Jet.com in January 2019 was two percent, down from three percent during the same period three years ago, forcing Walmart to question using Jet as a platform to drive online grocery sales. And also, according to Cantor estimates, Jet sales shrank to 689 million in 2019, down from one billion forecasted in 2016. So that's a big hit, but that's still no chunk of change to ignore 680 million. Six hundred eighty-nine million dollars is a lot of money. <laughs> it, is, it is indeed. It is indeed. All right, we're going to tell you about today's sponsor, Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. Shipping and mailing from your desk has never been simpler than with Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. With Send Pro Online, it's just click, send, and save for as low as four dollars and ninety-nine cents a month. Send envelopes, flats, and packages right from your desk, and you're back in business in no time. And for being a loyal e-commerce minute listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and a free 10-pound scale to ensure that you never overpay. You're going to save time and money mailing and shipping with SendPro Online. Starting at $4.99 a month, you can qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping. Calculate exact postage online. Print labels and stamps right from your PC. Go to pb.com slash minute to access a special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of Sin Pro Line from Pitney Bowes. We get a bell for that. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> that's our new. That's our new uh, commercial for Pitney Bowes for those who listen to the podcast. Uh, so we refreshed. Hey, hey John, what was the ad for? Uh, Sin Pro Line for Pitney Bowes. Do you, do you get ten pound scale with it? The t- you get a ten pound scale that does not weigh ten pounds. It just weighs things up to ten pounds. Perfect. But that's your disclaimer. I should order that. You should order that. All right, we'll keep an eye on Jet.com and Walmart's plans. But for now, that's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.